All right, so we're checking out the only game that ends the torturing of the slow heat death of the universe by adding a fast forward button. It's Solar Smash. Solar Smash added some new things, and Solar Smash is going to continue to add to my death count. I think I have, I have killed more people now in video gaming because of this game than all of my previous years of video gaming combined. So first things first, they made it so now you can have 100 nukes coming at the planet because honestly, 50 was rookie numbers, of course. And they added something that we will no doubt use to break the game because anytime something that messes with the physics is added, it completely shuts down everything else. It is a fast forward button. So now to attempt to erase the core of the earth, which I still truly haven't been successful in yet and allowing everyone to continue to survive somehow. We have the reset button, the planet button, the slow down button, and the fast forward button. God damn it, there has to be a way to allow everyone to experience true horror. Yes, yes, I know there's a Cthulhu, but some people would enjoy this. We can fast forward him now though. <laughs> Hold on real quick. Did you, did y'all hear Cthulhu in fast forward? I got a real quick. <laughs> it just sounds like someone stuck inside of a cardboard box trying to get out. <laughs> oh, this is weird. I didn't mean to do this, but I made a pair of eyes on the planet. It's like Sonic the Hedgehog eyes. Hold on, just one more time, just one more time. Okay, tell me that doesn't sound like someone being smothered by a pillow. Cthulhu the Pillow Lord. I feel so bad. Cthulhu went from the Dark Lord to the Down Lord. Get it? Down pillow. I feel like I can end up doing a lot more damage in fast forward for some reason. All right, now if I'm really careful, maybe I can give this guy a set of teeth. Hold on, come on, I need that baby tooth to come in. Shove your way in there, do it. Do it, there we go, full set of teeth. And now to go ahead and set these off with Cthulhu, except he's trapped inside of someone's refrigerator. <laughs> Oh, this is interesting. The fast forward actually allows you to use these without completely crashing the game. How is this planet still alive? All right, hold on. Let me just, I'm just getting rid of some of this crap that's sitting here doing nothing. All right, here's the plan. I'm gonna go ahead and send off like 500 nukes. Once they get inside of the planet here, I'm gonna reset the planet so they go off inside of it. Go my 100 nukes. Go. All right, now you wait from the side. Oh, this actually looks amazing from the side. Go, my jellyfish tentacles. All right, wait for it to get in the middle. Okay, good. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Now. Okay, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is that probably worked. The bad news is I'm now down to like six FPS and I completely liquefied the other half of the planet. Who took most of the damage? You and I both know who it was. It was Africa. <laughs> I think one of the big problems here though is that the nukes just don't do enough damage to the inside. I have to use these nukes. All right, fast forward, do an army of slowly suffocating Cthulhu's. There, now it just, it sounds like 50 people inside of a bunch of refrigerators being hauled away to be sold. Cthulhu slavery. Okay, yeah, that looks perfect right there. Okay, let me see if I can at least get 10 of these now in fast forward without crashing the game. Before 10 was pretty much the maximum. If we're gonna erase the entire core of the earth though, I've gotta figure out a way to do this. Okay, do this, grab Cthulhu with a mouth full of marshmallows, sick him into the middle here. What the hell? You were supposed to appear on this side, damn it! I swear to God. And... You missed again. That was interesting. When I spawned Cthulhu, it turned it into slow-mo. Oh, I think I lost a couple of these. Oh, maybe I didn't. This may turn things really, really badly, really quickly. Wow. Well, sh- Alright, you know what? Let's just use a moon. Okay, I'm pretty sure that worked flawlessly and we still have full FPS. All right, now the only way to really see how much of the core got removed is you have to cut the earth completely and oh, I guess we can cut it in half and fast motion. A few moments later. Okay, so we actually did a huge amount of damage to the core of the earth. We haven't completely removed it yet and the problem is by cutting it in half, I destroy the planet, kill everyone so no one gets to enjoy it. So I have to find a way to show the core of the earth missing, but without killing everyone. On the plus side though, if we remove the core of the earth, it'll be like a diet planet for the space worm. He comes in, he's like, oh, so locale. Okay, the space worm on super fast forward sounds like a freaking pigeon. Listen. 
I just realized something, and this is something I should have been trying from the beginning because I have a feeling that the fast and slow motion do something weird to the damage that happens when you reset the earth. I think I have a way for us to do a shit ton of damage to the earth and still have it survive. Obviously, we glitched the earth that one time with Cthulhu when he took like 300 million people out of the planet and somehow kept them alive. Well, alive in a world of hentai and torment. <laughs> the problem is I'm only trying to do one thing in the middle of the planet. I need to do like everything in the middle. Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna first make a hole in the middle of the planet. This is actually gonna be a lot like mini golfing. Just, just follow me here. How the hell did I only kill 1 million people? Oh, I nuked Hawaii. Interestingly, Hawaii was found to be like one of the happiest states in the entire United States. Was found. All right, that should be right about the halfway area. Now I need to only use stuff that I know can work on a backstop. All right, so we're gonna use like 20 of these. Now I need something else that moves really slowly. The meteor doesn't do enough damage. These friggin' missiles go all over the place. This could probably work because there's a delay, but I have to learn the delay. Actually, the moon is perfect. I just have to do more surgery and widen this hole without hitting this thing I made in the middle. God, it's like playing Operation. I'm trying to figure out what's moon-sized. Uh, yeah, that should do it. I didn't even do anything, and the game just broke. This game is desperately trying to stop me from doing what I want to do. I don't care what it takes. I'm gonna do it. All right, maybe I'll just start the hole with this so I know it's the right size. How many eggs do I have to break to make this work? About uh, seven billion eggs. Okay, perfect. Do this real fast. Slow things down, start the moon. Now the moon's gonna take forever to get down there. Okay, good. Now right when the moon's getting down there, we also ignite the black hole. This thing is useless to me. I don't know what happened, but uh, it lost all of its virility. Now, wait for it, 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 wait for it. Now. Holy sweet baby Jesus. I'm liking the fact that six billion people have died yet the earth is completely fine. Okay, I found the new key. I just have to make it <laughs> so that I keep everyone alive. I had to use the Grand Theft Auto trick, which is to say, reduce the graphics down to nothing. It's the only way to make the stuff blow up in the middle and not destroy the entire game. Okay, keep someone alive, keep someone alive, yes. Okay, now hopefully I can turn the graphics back on, <laughs> Jesus. I don't think I could take anything else away from the planet. <laughs> There's nothing left to take. I feel like I've been unintentionally abusing Hawaii a lot. I know, I know, Africa's over here, like really? I don't think I've centered on Florida yet, so I'm gonna make this the site of our impact real quick. Well, it's not really an impact, it's happening inside. It's more like giving the planet violent diarrhea. I'm just trying to clean out the innards. It's like a planetary enema, if you will. I feel like with the fast forward button, I'm just able, That wasn't supposed to happen. I was gonna say, I feel like I'm able to explode a lot more of these things and keep the game running, which is true. Okay, Florida, can you do us both a favor real quick and like not randomly explode? I mean, I need you to explode. Just explode when I tell you to. Okay, excellent. Okay, now you can explode. That worked surprisingly well until I did that last laser hit. I like how there's this one bomb left, this one little like Ultima nuke been left here by its family. There's no place I belong anymore. Here, you can blow up too, buddy. There you go. Okay, here's the plan. Put a hole in the earth. Knowing now that we can keep the FPS up if we do this in fast motion, I'm gonna put a um, hundred of these in there. You know what, let's start with 50 because I have a feeling I'm gonna regret this. Okay, I think I'm gonna try and ignite this with the planet killer. We'll do this in fast motion. And then, not yet, not yet, not yet. Now. Well, that was weird. You know what? We're gonna do this with a black hole. Why not? Oh God, this was a bad idea. What the hell happened? What? What happened? I, I shot it. I shot the earth with the planet destroyer, but it didn't actually do anything. It didn't do anything at all. The planet didn't blow up. The bombs didn't blow up. What the hell? What, did, what am I paying you for? It's the limpest damn planet destroyer in all the land. Okay, let's try this. Okay, that worked. Ooh. Everyone still died, but it definitely worked. How much of the middle of the planet did I get rid of? Oh God. <gasps> got rid of the entire middle of the planet. I just need to keep it alive somehow. Okay. 
We, we've got the right idea, and it looks like we can have way more of these than we used to be able to have. So you know what? I will put a hundred in here. Oh, 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 I need, I need one more, one more. Oh, okay. This is a lot harder than you would think because the problem is sometimes they smash into one another and they start a chain reaction to blowing up. But I've got a hundred of these things now tied together. Now I've got this area, okay? It's big. Plan is, we're gonna slow things down. I'm gonna release a moon. The second the moon starts everything exploding in the chain reaction, we're gonna go ahead and reset the board. Now. Oh, the corona of sadness. Oh, shit. I threw down an extra moon. That is a lot of dust coming out of the earth. Oh, that moon just killed two billion people. Okay. I've done it. I ended up killing six billion people, but there's still 1.4 billion people that can witness the horror. Okay, now I just have to figure out a way to crack the earth open to expose the missing core. Oh, shit. I just killed another billion people. All right, another 200 million people. Will you stop dying on me? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's like being a dentist and screwing up a cavity. Oh, yeah. We didn't really need the middle of the earth anyway. Who lives there? Nobody. Actually, where are people left? Oh, the bottom half of Australia. You bunch of survivors. Oh, hey, part of Africa. Oh, sh sorry. Part of Africa is still good, too. That is like a perfect earth coring. Cracked open like a Florida coconut, and 200 million people get to enjoy it. Considering Halloween is right around the corner, I have a feeling everyone knew that this was coming. This guy's like, do I have something stuck in my teeth? Okay, I found a planet that's way better at being cored than Earth. It's Mars because the core of Mars sucks ass. Look at how clean it is. It's like I gave Mars an enema and there's still 1.4 billion people left. Martians are way better to torture than Earthlings. All right, let me see if I can get the explosion of the entire core on film because obviously I'm able to get it looking great. I just want to be able to do it for everyone with full FPS. All right, so you put like a, you know, a heap Well, first you gotta fast forward this. Put a whole slew of these in there. Got to kind of move them around. Okay, that should be a pretty good amount. This, this, this. Now. Okay, I think I got it perfectly this time. Now, there's only 53 million people left, but I got it so that the explosion happened and the entire planet has stayed together, so it doesn't even have an impact hole. All right, so now what you got to do is just put a tiny little hole... <laughs> Inside. Oh, I like it. Let's open up our pinata here. It's like cutting out a cancerous tumor from Mars. I cut a big piece out because it's way easier to see. Even though this looked like someone stabbed Mars on the subway and took its wallet. But inside this gash, you can see there's like nothing inside. 53 million people on planet Mars should be able to repopulate it. You guys got a lot of work ahead of you. I'm so happy. It wasn't easy. I made like a little quarter slot over here, like an arcade machine, but I managed to do it on Earth and I've got one billion billion people left to see it. Let me open this entire area up. This is gonna be prime real estate for these billion people. Come on, property values on the edge of the planet have to be sky high. Oh, I've, I've actually cored out what looks like a Dorito because of how red it is. Yeah, here, let me, uh, it's Illuminati Earth. Perfect. Well, folks, we did it. We finally removed the entire core of the planet and allowed people to enjoy it. This means I'm putting Cthulhu on a diet. Oh, hold on, I gotta do it in, in the fast motion because it sounds amazing. There it is. Hey, hey, folks. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Solar Smash. Otherwise known as the place that abducts Cthulhu and throws it into a potato sack. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.